Hey you guys, Courtney here. I know this is a different angle, <laughs> different area. Um, but I did get the, the live questions, or not the live, but the tag questions from um, Celsius Jessica. And I do want to go on here and I do want to answer them. So I'm on my tablet. So if things aren't very clear, that's why. Because I'm on my tablet and normally I'm on my phone, which does has a lot better um, camera um, on it. So, <laughs> But I do want to answer these questions. Um, but I'm talking to Erica <laughs> on the phone. So... Um, let me just let her know. Um, but yeah, this I did a live and I answered some questions on um, the tag. It was like a massive tag, like a tag, like a double tag from Amy. So as soon as that uploads, I will um, put everything in the description box as far as who started the tag, Amy's information and all that. And I hope you guys enjoyed that because I had a lot of fun doing that. That was I decided to do it on a live just because it was so much that ended up getting going a little bit too far. And I'm sorry, but yeah. So, oh my gosh, I didn't know that. If you're on a live, you can go in and out and give thumbs up, like more thumbs up. Whew! More thumbs up, you guys. Like, like we need to go, we need to, we need to do this. <clears throat> we need to do this. We need to do more thumbs. We need to do this on everybody who we know who goes live. We need to go out and in and give more thumbs. More thumbs. Y'all know the thumbs hate me. So, ooh, that was weird. Okay, so, why is that keep, is that just me or something like flashing? <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, so let me tell her. Sorry, I guess I should have taken care of this before I started my video. <laughs> Um, I'm talking about Erica, Erica Mullins, so that's who I'm talking to. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to um, Jessica. She just sent me the tag questions, and this is Jessica Solstice, um, and I will link her information below. She's amazing. She's such a sweet girl. Um, every time I see her, she just makes me smile. She's just a beautiful, beautiful soul, and I just love her to death. I just love her. I just love her. Okay, so these are tag questions, basically like getting to know me tag questions, and um. These are the questions. So I am going to read them and then I am going to answer them. As if y'all didn't know that. <laughs> but let me go ahead and get everything straight here because I haven't done this before on my tablet. Oh Lord. So, yes. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to be that close. Okay. So, um, the first question is, my name, where do I live, and my age? My name is Courtney, um, K-H, and those are my initials. And um, do, where do I live? I live in um, a county that is a little outside of um, Savannah, Georgia. Um, I'm about, um, as the crow flies, super close. But as far as, like, driving, um, I am about um, 35 to 40 minutes outside of Savannah, Georgia. And God, I'm like I have a fat face in this at this angle. I need to put that put it up here or like something. Ah, I don't like that. Um, and then my age, I am 38. So 38 years old. So I am on my way to to, 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 to 40. Yeah. Um, and do you all right, second question. Do you have kids, names, married, and names? Okay. So I do. I have two kids. I am married. Um, my husband's name is James. And if you watched one of my lives, I don't remember which one it was, but he was in one of my lives and it was just it was funny. You guys will have to go back and watch it. Um, but his name is James. I call him Jamie. Um, and then I have two kids. I have a nineteen year old and a twelve year old, and their names are Blake and Reese. And Reese, um, Blake was I had him while I was very young. Um um, his, you know, he graduated last year and it just, oh man, it took a toll on my heart because, you know, there's milestones, there's milestones, y'all, but it's milestones. Um, and then Reese was actually named after me. Um, we were going to name him Reese Morgan, but, um, at the last minute, my husband decided that he was going to, he wanted his name to be after him and me. So we ended up naming him James Reese. So his name is James Reese. I'm um, James after my husband, and Reese was my middle name. And but I did take my middle name um, 
off of my license and my social security number and I'm using my middle initial um, uh, maiden initial as my middle name so I gave Reese my middle name so it was Courtney Reese so and I love my babies they're my boys I'm so glad I have boys um, when did I first try makeup? Um, the first time I tried makeup was, um, I can't remember if I was with my grandmother or whether I was with my mom, but my grandmother and my mom, and both of my grandmothers and my mom actually were like all about makeup. Like my, um, my dad's mom used to sell Mary Kay. She was really big into Mary Kay. And I believe that Mary Kay was probably the first makeup product that I ever did try because my grandma, my, my, my dad's mom, granny, she would let me do things, get away with things just a little bit more than, than my mom and my other grandma. <laughs> but, um, my mom has always been, you know, into makeup and, um, she's so, she's so good with makeup. I wish she would do a videos, but you know, she's just, she's shy. <laughs> but, um, I think I tried Mary Kay and I believe it was around the age of 10. Um, it could have been, I could have like dabbled around in like some skincare and stuff just for fun with my grandma, um, earlier than that. But as far as like doing like makeup, makeup, I believe that, um, I was around 10 years old and it was um, Mary Kay. And then after that, um, I believe that my other grandma took me and bought me some clear mascara and, you know, a couple of little lippies or something, you know, just to try. But I've been wearing makeup a long time. And, um, like, in high school, I was, like, always the one who, like, was, like, wearing makeup more than everybody else. And, you know, I did makeup for a lot of people. Um, every time they come over, I want to do, like, they'd be like, do my makeup, do my makeup. I'm like, okay. So, <laughs> but, yeah, so I love makeup, and I've been doing it for a really long time. So, that's a good question. Um... And what product was it? Is what, like what I said. Okay, number three, uh, or number four, favorite movie. Um, I've already, like, I went over this earlier in my live, but I have so many favorite movies, and it's so hard to pick one. Um, but I think that my favorite movie of all time is a toss-up between three movies, and it's going to be um, number one, Sound of Music, number two, Still Magnolias, and number three, Singing in the Rain, because... And then Hello Dolly, I know y'all probably don't know what that is, but if you don't, you should watch it. It's an amazing movie. It really is. It's an amazing movie. I love it. I love musicals. I'm like an old lady. I love musicals. And it's just because I have an old soul. I feel like I do have an old soul. And and I think that that's okay to have an old soul. My son has, my youngest son has an old soul too. He, he likes vintage stuff, like what he calls vintage. Like vintage to him is like what's, like when we were younger, you know, so... But <clears throat> that's like, so I have so many favorite movies, The Notebook, you know, me and Erica were talking about, oh man, I got, I got like into a fit on my live about that. Y'all have to go back and watch that. Jessica, you will, you will laugh at me for that. <laughs> okay. So favorite singer. Um, it, it's like I said, it's, it's hard. It's very hard for me to say what my favorite singer is. Um, I believe that, um, I mean, Julie Andrews has a beautiful voice, um, so does Barbara Streisand, Bette Midler, um, uh, Gene Kelly, Louis Armstrong. Like, I, I just, I just love, I love pure voice, pure voice. Like, um, someone who, who, um, you know, just uses their voice in a natural way, but it's not like overly doing it. I love, um, you know, it's just so hard to come up with an answer for that because there's so many good singers. Um, but, um, my husband's aunt, Debbie, she has a beautiful voice. Um, she has an op opera type voice and she's able to use it in, in different ways and, and it's really beautiful. She sings a lot of gospel music and um, she's just got a beautiful voice. So she's one of my favorite singers too. So um, I can sing, but I'm shy about singing because my grandmother had a wonderful voice, a beautiful voice. My mom has a beautiful voice and I can sing. I'm just really shy with it. Um, both of my kids can sing. Um, my oldest son actually can play guitar and saxophone, all the saxophones. Um, and then my youngest is actually in band and he's doing percussion. So I'm hoping that he's going to be on the drum line. He can also sing. He was in the chorus, um, in elementary school and he played some of the instruments there. So I've got a lot of music in my family. So, but I would never sing for you guys because I'm too shy. I'm too shy. I'm too shy to sing. So, um, where... I don't know who wait I gotta zoom in girl because this is little all right who were your inspirational beauty icons when I was younger okay so 
Beauty inspirational. Okay, so one of my favorite um, of all time is probably Christy Brinkley. I think she's beautiful. Um, I always looked at her. She was on the cover of all the magazines when I was younger. Um, uh, of course, Cindy Crawford. You know, she was she was on all the magazine covers when I was younger. Um, I really love Tyra Banks. Um, I'm not going to get political or anything. I don't. Some of the things. Um, yeah, you know, I'm going to repeat this because I just want to reiterate. Um, there's a lot of people that I like, but there's been some things that have happened, um, politically that, why is my earring all wackadoodle, y'all, that I don't agree with, um, that have disappointed me with some of the people that I, that I, that I, you know, like, especially Ashley Judd and Madonna, because Madonna's one of my favorites too, but, mm, keep it classy, keep it classy, okay. Um, but yeah, some beauty icons. Um, I'm just trying to think of some other ones. Um, ugh. you know, Joan Rivers, you know, even though she wasn't considered a beauty icon, um, she was always so over the top and just so, um, she's always had a full face, she always was just like made up, always had all this jewelry on. So I wouldn't say she's like a beauty icon, but I believe that she's kind of an icon as far as like, you know, being like snazzy and like um fancy all the time um but i think that my if i had to choose like my biggest beauty icon ever in the whole wide world it is my grandmother she's so beautiful i just i like i should have got some pictures out but i don't want to get upset but she's just beautiful i showed this on my other video and i've showed this to you guys before you guys have seen this but this little cup my grandpa my grand not my grandpa my grandma, um, this is me and my grandma, and if I had the whole picture to show you, I would, I don't have it in reach, but she is so beautiful, she always has, see that pink frosty lipstick that she has on, she was always so classy, and always so beautiful, and just, just an icon to me, um, you know, every time she goes somewhere, she couldn't leave the house, just, you know, with just a regular, just, you know, just, something plain like she had to have some some rouge some rouge on and she had to have a pink frosty lip and she was just always just I mean her hair had to be done and you know it, she was just such a such an icon to me so um what do you love about makeup the most um to me makeup is it's what I love the most about it is that you can be yourself you can do whatever you want there's no rules in it um I don't like it when people try to Tell you what to do with your makeup i think that some people do makeup better than others i think that you know it's yeah i do believe that but i just I, I believe that you should be able to be yourself and you can show your personality with it and that you can choose whatever and create something beautiful and sometimes not even realize it like you know i've done a few videos where i've you know kind of started at, at a and when i got to z i was just like wow you know i wasn't really expecting this but this is what happened so you know, that's what I love about makeup. I love that it, it can mean so much to so many different people. Um, makeup has, has helped me, um, you know, meet people. It's helped me, you know, come out of my shell as far as being able to, um, you know, show what I do know and show, you know, it's, it's just, it's just a really helpful thing to me and I love makeup and I think it's amazing. And I think that, that everybody, you know, if, if that's your thing, you know, as, as they do it, you know, it's, it's just, I just think that it's, it's a great thing. So, um, I just love makeup. I think my favorite step of makeup is like probably eyes, but I also love highlighting and just trying new things and just doing, you know, just d things that I normally wouldn't do things outside of my comfort zone. And then I realized that I really like it. So it ends up being in my comfort zone by the end. So, um, <clears throat> so let's see my dream job. Well, I kind of do have my dream job now, um, but if I had to choose something different, um, I think that my dream job would be to, um, it's so hard to say because I have a couple of them, but I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> I want to, I want to proceed. I want to progress with where I am now. I want to, 
um, be further along. I need some more schooling. I need some more um, education. I want to continue my education of what I'm doing now. Um, but if I had to pick something else as far as beauty goes, um, I would love to be um, a makeup artist like on set for like movies and soap operas. I don't want to do like like over the top crazy makeup, um, like um, like sci-fi makeup because I don't think that I'm that good. <laughs> I think I could learn, but um, and I think I could do a few things. But um, I would really love to be able to be on like a set of a soap opera or something, or on a set of like a, like a reality show or something like that. Where I could just kind of play around and just do different things and, and work with different skin tones and skin types, which I have. Um, and I love doing wedding makeup and um, prom makeup. So I think that all those things together would just be a, a great job for me, other than what I'm doing now. But I do want to continue my education as far as what I'm doing now. So, um, What was a trend you followed when you were younger? Hmm. Well, first of all, I tight rolled the crap out of my jeans. I tight rolled my jeans, y'all. I did. I tight rolled the crap out of them. Um, <laughs> that was a big thing when I was young. Um, some other trends were like the t-shirts. Like some of the stuff has come back into style. So some of you young ones will know. You know, you take your t-shirt and you put it in the little thing, the little thing that has, and then and it so it ends up tying your t-shirt, y'all. That was like from like way back, like way back. So I did that. Um, I really enjoyed, um, you know, doing different things with my hair. Um, I would cut my hair like I had my bangs. Like, I never had bangs like this because it gave me acne, but I always had some kind of bangs or something going on, and I would love to, um, like, teasing everything, you know, like big hair, but not like big hair like my mom. Like, my mom has always loved big hair, and she still loves big hair, and she always would get on to me. Her and my grandma would always get on to me for not... Like my saying, your hair's so flat. Well, I can't help it. <laughs> I don't want big poofy hair. <laughs> but I did have a little bit of doo -doo in my bangs and my, you know, I would spray it up and, and dry it with my hair dryer. So yeah, yeah. Jessica, I'm with you there, honey. Um, <clears throat> number ten. What's your most embarrassing moment? Um, I thought about this last night too. I'd have to say my most embarrassing moment of my life was probably when my son was about three. Um, we were at Walmart, and I had taken him out of the buggy because he was generally my oldest. This is my oldest son, okay? So this is a long time ago. Sorry, you guys. This is a long time ago. Um, this was probably in, what, 2000 and, I don't know, two, something like that. We were at Walmart, and it was a pretty big Walmart. It was in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Um, near the campus of Chapel Hill, um, uh, UNC Chapel Hill, and um, we were in Walmart, and I was in the clothes section, and I took my son out of the buggy because he was usually good. He w he was good. Like they knew not. Like both of my kids have known not to act up in public. They act up in public. They know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so, but um, this particular day, I don't know why my son decided he was gonna do this, but he said, "Mommy, I have to go to the potty," and I was like, "Okay." I was like, hold on just a second. Well, he liked to hide in the clothes racks, you know, which, you know, all kids do that. I did that when I was young, right? Well, he hid in the clothes rack, and I knew he was in the clothes rack. And so I was like, okay, well, you must not have to go that bad. So, um, you know, I was just kind of browsing through, you know, knew that he was in the clothes rack. And he was like, okay, I have to go potty. And I was like, okay, hold on. So I turned around to put whatever I had in my hand back onto the rack. <clears throat> turned back around, and my child's not there. He's not in the clothes rack. He's nowhere to be found. I yell his name. He doesn't answer. That is like panic mode. Panic mode. Like, I went psycho in the middle of Walmart. Like, psycho. Um, I went down every aisle. I went to the front. I was yelling for him. I thought that someone had swiped my kid. It was so awful. Um, it was scary and embarrassing at the same time. But I had this man that was like, going to like the video game section the toy section looking for him for me well come to find out my son he he was smarter than that and he knew i even i went straight to the bathroom that's where i went to first because he knew we had been in that walmart before that was a walmart by our, by our house but um <clears throat> i went into the the bathroom he wasn't there and come to find out my son was super smart and he knew that when he went back and did not see me where he last saw me at three years old okay he knew to go to the register, to the front desk. 
And next thing I know, I'm coming out of the bathroom just in just a panic mode, just crying, just freaking out, thinking, you know, having my phone in my hand, getting ready to call the police. I think the police were already on their way, but either way, um, yeah, he had gone up there and he told them what his name was and what his mom's name was. And the next thing I know, I hear over the, um, the, uh, the loudspeaker, uh, Courtney, which my other last name that I had then, um, uh, Blake is up here. And I was like, oh, I've never felt so relieved in my life. But it was so embarrassing because people were looking at me like I was a horrible mother. You know, it was it was it was just one of those things that was like the scariest and the and the most embarrassing thing ever because I've never you know, I would never let my kids, you know, just wander around like that, especially at three years old. But he was so smart. I mean, he knew what to do and I was embarrassed because I didn't know that he knew what to do. I think that was the embarrassing part and that people were just looking at me like, You crazy woman, you know, you would let your son you know, it was just it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. But it was also scary. So yeah. That was that was pretty embarrassing. I mean, like I can't really think of any other embarrassing moment. Um, I've had a lot of embarrass embarrassing moments in my life. <laughs> my husband likes to embarrass me in public. Yeah, and in the car. He likes to, you know, when we're driving by somebody, he'll, he'll like, wave or do something stupid. But, anyways. <laughs> so, um, let's see. What's the last food and drink I had? Well, right now I'm drinking Coca-Cola because that's my thing. I drank Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. And the last thing I ate was some uh, white cheddar cheeses. So, um, what sports did I play when I was younger? I played a lot of sports. Um, I did softball. Um, I did cheerleading. I was a cheerleader for a long time. I cheer. I was a cheerleader from the time I was young, like able like to even be a cheerleader until I graduated high school. Um, I played tennis. I'm very good at tennis. Um, I tried to play volleyball for a year, but I hurt my hand, so I couldn't do it. Um, and then I did soccer for a little while, which I didn't like. Um, let's see what else did I do. I played, um, I always like to play football with all the, with all the boys because I grew up with a bunch of boys. So I know how to play football. I always like to play football. So I played a lot of sports, but it was mostly softball and cheerleading. Um, and I played recreation ball and then I played in high school. So I'm in tennis. I didn't get it. I didn't pick up tennis until, um, like the end of middle school, but I can still play tennis till this day. My husband can too. So, um, and he was, he's really big on sports. My husband's played every sport that you can play and he's really good at sports. So we're always super competitive when it comes to things. Um, let's see. How many times have I fallen in love? Once. Like real love, like real true love once. And I'm still with him. <laughs> So, um, yeah, he is my one love. Like, because I didn't know what love was until me and him got together. And there's a reason for that. There's a backstory there. But we've known each other forever. We're best friends. We were best friends before we got married. We've known each other since we were very young. He's he's a few years younger than me. But, yeah, I've fallen in love one time. Well, other than my two kids, you know. So, if you want to add that, that's three times. So, three times. So, my husband and my two kids. That definitely fallen in love three times. Um, where have you gone on vacation to? Um, I haven't gone on, I don't, I don't vacation very much, but the place that I've been to, I've been to, um, Dallas, Fort Worth. I've been to Virginia. Um, I've been to West Virginia. Um, I've been to Washington, D.C. I've been to North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Alabama, Tennessee, and that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So I haven't been very, I haven't been, you know, around. Like, I'm not like a, like a, um, a traveler. You know, I don't, I don't travel very much. Um, who was the last person you texted and what was it about? Well, besides this text, um, it's text messaging. I texted Sherry and it was about, um, she asked me if I was feeling better from um, my migraines that I had yesterday. So, um, oh, and I was talking with Erica on um, Facebook. So, and that was just about just talking about general things. So, talk, actually, we we're talking about my live from earlier. So, um, 
Number 16, if you could have plastic surgery, would you and what? Honestly, I don't think I would. I don't think I would. Um, I would love to get the chin taken taken down a notch. And I would love to get like a forehead lift. So my crevices would go away. And, uh, you know, I would love to get like, you know, some fat sucked out of my body. But being in the medical field, I know how risky and how, um, how dangerous surgery can be. And the last surgery that I had was so bad that... If I had to have plastic surgery, I just don't think I would choose to do it. It's not something I would choose to do. I have issues with anesthesia, too. So, I just don't, I don't know. I just, I just, I'm, I'm not really into plastic surgery. I mean, even though I could have, like, these dreams of, like, having, like, better boobs, you know, better everything, you know. But I'm good on plastic surgery, I think. Um, what's the last song I listened to? I'm trying to think. Actually, the last song I listened to all the way through was me and my husband went to go pick up my son and um, in Tennessee. We, we played my playlist on from Amazon, um, and we listened to a lot of Shinedown on the way there and on the way back. Um, we listened to some 90s rap, um, but I think the last song I listened to completely all the way through was um, probably Corn Freak on a Leash, I think. Or either Shine Down, Save Me. I don't know. One of the two. But, yeah. That was the last song I listened to all the way through. Because I haven't, yeah. I haven't listened to any music the last couple of days. I usually I usually listen to music every day. But I haven't listened to music the last couple of days. Um, are you afraid of bugs? And what kind? I am afraid of those big ass palmetto bugs. And if you don't know what those are, they are huge, y'all. They are huge. They're like the size of my freaking beauty blender. Okay? Except they're like this. They like this. They're like that. They're huge. And they fly. And they're really, really bad in the south. And they like to get in crevices of your house. And like, they're not, they, they're roaches, but they're not like roaches. They're actually like palmetto bugs. So, yeah, they're, they're scary. I hate them. I will run from them. I won't even get close enough to them to kill them because I'm so scared of them. They are so gross. They are so freaking gross. And they are so big and black and ugly. And I hate them. They're gross. They freak me out. I love snakes. Spiders don't bother me. You know, some of the bugs that people just hate, like that stuff. Lizards don't bother me. Frogs don't bother me. Except when they're interrupting my live videos. But yeah, I just do not like those big, big, huge palmetto bugs. They're awful. What is my nationality? Um, well, my mom told me, and if you give me a second, I could tell you what exactly what she said. She did the little thing where you can um where you send in your DNA. And I'm pretty sure, let's see. All right, so we are, hold on y'all, I'm sorry. Okay, here it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so this is what my mom... This is half of my ethnicity. Alright, so it's... <laughs> ethnic, ethnicity estimate. So, see, here it is right here. She had done the... Like I said, she did that. And um, it says, Great Britain, Europe, West, Ireland, Scottish, and Wales. That's the biggest one. Somewhat Scandinavian... Um, there's some Finland, nor Northwest Rush, ugh, Russia, Russian, um, a, a somewhat Asian, which is weird. But the the one that sub surprised me the most was Scandinavian, Russian, Asian, and Middle Eastern. Like, I, it's like that's just weird. Um, I just cause I just don't like Russian. Not too much doesn't. But the Scandinavian, Asian, and Middle Eastern. That's kind of weird. And then on my dad's side, I know that there's some Indian there. Um, and then uh, mostly um, just European, pretty much. So, yeah. That's him. So, let me get back to the questions here. Um, I'm just a mixture. I say I call myself a mutt. <laughs> okay. Uh, 20. Um, if you could go on a road trip with a celebrity, who would it be and why? Um... 
who would I go with? It would be somebody old because I want to, I'd want to hear stories and, and, and lifelong just everything about what they've done. So I don't know. It'd probably be Clint Eastwood, to be honest with you, because I really love Clint Eastwood and I think he's been through some stuff and, and, and I would love to go on a road trip with him just to see where he would take me. Like, cause we'd probably end up out in the middle of nowhere and it would be awesome. And like, just, you know, I don't know. I just like to hear some of the things that he said, he, he has to say. Um, I admire him a lot for a lot of different reasons. Um, yeah, I think he, I think he would be it. I think he would be the one I'd choose. I mean, there's a lot of them I like to go on a road trip with, but I think Clint Eastwood, because he's kind of quiet, but not really. So I think I like, I like, I have to pick your brain, Clint. I have to pick your brain, pick your brain. So I love to do that. Um, <clears throat> and I think that's all. So that was a good tag video. I really like those questions, Jessica. Those are really awesome. And I appreciate you doing that, tagging me for that. So um, I hope you guys like the video. And if you do, please subscribe. Hit the like button and the ringy-dingy bell, and I will make sure to support you back. Um, yeah, I will definitely link Jessica's information down below, and I am going to tag a few people in this myself. I need to see who all Jessica tagged on hers so that I can see who, who I need to tag that, you know, who hasn't already been tagged. But I'm going to tag some of you guys on this, so you'll get it. You'll get the tag. So, anyways, I love you guys. I want to argue with you, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.